If you've watched my videos before, you probably know I struggle with decorating the inside of everything I build. Even with the mods that add furniture, I still struggle because the furniture just doesn't work sometimes. If only there was a way to make my own furniture, even if I had to spend ages building it. So imagine this, right? You're on Minecraft. You want to build something, but you want to build it small. So small, it can fit behind a person, and you don't even know it's there. Like this house, for example. I built this little house here using the chisel and bits mod. Yes, I placed each block individually and you get a very cute little house. So with this mod, you get most blocks that are available in Minecraft to you, but in tiny form. For example, here's some chiseled lava, which you can make a little chiseled lava hole. I don't think it'd burn you though, because it's so little and small. Here's some yellow stained glass, as you can see. And you can make little cute little things out of it. You can also get a regular Minecraft block and chisel away at it and make some sort of structure if you so wanted to. So I'm gonna take this mod and I'm gonna see what we can do with it to improve our building. One of the main problems I have with Minecraft is when I come to decorate houses, I just don't know what to put inside. Here you can see the sort of basics I use Nothing super interesting, enchanting tables, stuff like that. And there's only really flower pots you can put on these little shelves here. And also the shelves are just upside down quartz stairs. Let's see if we can make a more interesting shelf to go here. We can start off with a little layer like this, then add another layer like so, then finally add a big layer on top like this, which takes a long time as you've got to place each block and you've got to be very precise with your mouse. And that alone is a pretty cool looking shelf, but we could improve it a bit more and make it a bit fancier like this. We could add some cool stuff onto it, like a custom made flower pot and add a custom made flower on it. Like so, how cute. Other things you can make, like some custom artwork, as I'm doing right now. This is ever so fiddly, but I feel like the end design, really effective. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? To just have the option to decorate your house like this is so cool. You can really customize and decorate the house entirely how you want. You don't even have to do shelves or pieces of things like this, you could do full on tables. Let's see how we can convert this quartz stairs into a proper table. And the great thing about this mod is, the longer you wanna spend building stuff, the cooler intricate designs you can make. For example, this table here is taking quite a while as I'm doing something stupidly complicated. I wouldn't recommend doing this as such because there are plenty of mods that make really nice tables that are out there. I would probably make much nicer tables than this as well, but I'm just displaying what you can do if you wanted to. But say you want a table and no mod has this design, this mod would be perfect for it. And you can make cute little tables like this. Now in normal Minecraft, you only really have the option of torches or glowstone or lanterns or those ugly lamp blocks, which let's be real, no one ever really uses. So let's see if we can make a cool custom lantern to go above this anvil here. I've not really built this out the best color, but you can kind of see what I'm going for here with a sort of fancy lantern instead of your regular old torch. I'm not sure if it does as much light as the torch, but I'm pretty sure it does some. Another cool thing we could use this for is making some custom balconies. It's amazing how long it's taking me to place what is essentially one block's worth of stuff. And there you go, a custom made balcony looking pretty cool, even if it is a bit wrong. So let's build a house and see how much we can customize it. So we've got a basic outline of a house right now looking pretty basic. Let's start customizing this. Firstly, with the windows. You can actually place big blocks of this stuff, like a plane, if you look here, like so. I'm gonna make some custom windows right now. Okay, I'm beginning to learn how to use this tool a bit more effectively. For example, you can draw regions like this, which makes placing blocks a whole lot easier, holy moly. So now I can draw out these window panes like so. So the window's looking pretty good, but I wanna improve it a load. Look how fancy that looks in comparison to a normal stained glass window. Pretty crazy. Adding some accents onto the house, which I can just then copy and paste fairly easy, like so. Very much improves the look of the house. Kind of getting the hang of this mod now and things are becoming a bit easier. Figured out a way to replicate the windows really well now. Let's build a little fence here. We've got some windows on looking nice. 
I want to build like a balcony to see what I can do. It's so got a cute little balcony going here. However, I need to connect it up to this part, making it a little bit more complicated, but not out of my range. Looking pretty clean, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna add a roof onto this bit here. Well, there you have it, a very nice roof, which took me about 20 minutes to make but looks really cool. I then added on windows to every single section of the house and made them all fancy like the front windows. Quite easy to replicate once you've got one window down. So with all the little bits adding on around the house, it's time to work on the roof. Let's see what we can do with these little bits of blocks. Before working on the main roof bit itself, I decided to add a bit of detail on the front and oh gosh, this took about 40 minutes. You're watching 40 minutes sped up. This took forever, but I feel like the final effect is pretty cute. It's not worth how long it's taking to do. As I can't copy and paste this, I've got to do each bit individually and I'm trying to replicate this entire side. I then moved on to the roof, which was actually quite easy to do as you could copy and paste most of the stuff, but the angles on the corners were the tricky bits and they took the longest to do, as well as the edge area where I sort of had to make some new blocks to put on. And then I just copied and pasted all the bits from the sides onto each of the pointed bits. There's something quite satisfying about building with this mod. Just the little bits of details and stuff really makes the build feel really cool. Like, look at that roof so far. Looking good. So, it's looking pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. The roof is looking very clean and it kind of looks like I've just built a massive size house, but in fact, I can just walk in the front door. Now, I've been working a bit off a source image, as you can see here, although mine has turned out quite different, but I really wanna try add on these leaves on the bottom right-hand corner and see if we can get something pretty on there. Before I did that though, I spent 10 minutes working on this little section up here and then spent another 15 minutes adding a little bit of detail up here. I think the time lapse looks really funny as you, I just stay in the same position as the blocks are so small. Placing this little bush thing on the outside though is possibly the easiest and most fun part of this build so far. Placing all the little blocks, it was just randomizing it and trying to make it look quite natural, which is quite tricky, but I think I did a pretty good job. I also added some little red roses in as well. And then I got working on the inside a little bit by adding a ceiling in. I made my own custom lanterns, which I placed all around the house. And then I made a little bit of a wardrobe. It started off as a double chest wardrobe, but then it wouldn't open the top shelf. So I made a little shelf and put some things on top of that as well to make it look all pretty and stuff. I'm gonna extend this windowsill a little bit here. Then add a cute little flower pot on here. Make a cute little sunflower like that. Makes for a really nice window display. Going to attempt to make a sofa now, facing this window. A very comfy looking sofa there. We'll make a little coffee table to go with it. Lovely, looking good. Let's see if I can make a fancy rug in the center here. I think that would look really cool. I'm gonna start out by making an outline like this. It's a very colorful rug, I'll tell you that straight away. Paste this along like so, as well as this part. Nice. And then we're gonna make a funky pattern. And now I'm just making a weird pattern. It's kind of got a Shrek face in the middle of it. Probably should change to green wool. And then we're gonna fill the rest of this middle bit in with yellow, like so. Not the prettiest rug in the world, but well, now we can reverse it. So you can kind of see what it would look like if someone was actually talented. Unfortunately, I'm not, so this is what I've come up with, this weird looking rug here. Pretty cool nonetheless. Making a little sink here for decoration next to the furnaces over here. Pretty easy one to make. Can even add some water dripping out of it. Doesn't that look cute? Working on a little table here now. Fairly easy to make, there we go. Pretty simple table, very nice. Let's add some salt and pepper shakers on here. Just working on a little fruit bowl. Fits nice and snugly on the table there. Now this is where the staircase would go. Another cool thing about this mod is if you wanted to say, I don't know, add some wallpaper on, you could just do this. We'll have like a nice feature wall over here. Looking good. You can also use this mod to make some custom banisters, which I'm doing right now, which look pretty cool. And honestly, there's just so much stuff you can add that I can't even think of right now. But there's things out there that would just improve your build so much, and it's just crazy the customization that you can have with this mod. 
I love it. I think it's really awesome and I'm probably going to use it a little bit in the future to decorate things. Probably not in as much detail as this though, as this just took so long. If you want to download the mod, it will be in the description down below and if you've got any tips and tricks if you've used this mod before, please let me know. I think I've done a pretty good job for my first time using it though and I'm excited to use it in the future and see what I can build. Thank you so much for watching though guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment and I shall see you another time for another video. Goodbye!